It was not until the story of Rosa Parks, of this defiant, graceful woman refusing to be demeaned in the way that so many others had been demeaned, it wasn't until that story was at the forefront of American discussion that then other legal ramifications and legal arguments began to take life. It wasn't until Americans saw the Little Rock Nine being pelted with tomatoes that there was a change in the, in the interpretation and perceptions of all kinds of, of, of judges at district court level all across the country. While we await the Supreme Court, decision. We must remember that we are in a constant battle to ensure that we all have a voice not that in our democracy. You see, the fight never ends. But it's our vigilance that helps us to win. And it's because we love our children so much that we're doing this. It's unacceptable for children to graduate from high school with dentures. It's unacceptable for our children to laugh and cover their mouths because they don't want you to see how many teeth are missing. It's unacceptable. And today, we have a very different world. We have, for the first time ever, cavity-free kids. So one thing I learned from this whole experience, I used to think that you should do something even if it's hard. But what I learned from this experience is that you should do something sometimes because it's hard. Yeah. Because it's hard. Yes. Because if you don't, then maybe nobody else will. Thinking about the movement building strategies of collecting stories and, as Doug, as you mentioned, of um, creating a broader social narrative to support what's going on in, the, in that small room, trial room in the US Supreme Court, I think is critically important. Um, and we need everybody in, in all of our communities to really share that and enforce that.